Greetings to all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. First of all, I want to thank God for enabling me to do a short meditation today. I also want to thank Achan, Sheba and the Sunday School officials for giving me this opportunity. Since I am not a good speaker, I would want to caution you to go back and read the passages that I share to make sure that what I am saying is right. For the Eastern Churches, the Lent started yesterday. Whenever we think of Lent, the first thing that comes to most of our minds is about giving up something. That is definitely good, but we need to keep in mind that Lent is about an internal transformation through imposing external restrictions. If we focus on giving up external things and are not mindful of an internal change, then Lent is meaningless. And when I think about the Lenten season and the passion of Christ, I always think about the joy of Christmas. Both Christmas and Easter are intimately linked together. We cannot think of one without the another. So during the Lenten season, let me wish you the joy of Christ coming into this world for each of us. The lesson readings selected for today are Genesis chapter 1, 20-31 and the Gospel of John chapter 1, 10 to 18. In the Genesis passage, it talks about the creation of birds, fish, animals, and ultimately humans, and God giving the land to humans and animals. It is particularly interesting that God mentions that both humans and animals are expected to live of plants. Maybe that's why some of us are giving up meat during the Lent. I wanted to focus on the second passage for today's meditation though, particularly the Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 14. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. The Word who was with God during creation became flesh. I just wanted to link the two passages with a different passage, which is Proverbs chapter 8, 27 through 29. It talks about the wisdom of God, and verse 27 of Proverbs 8 says, When he established the heavens, I was there, and when he drew a circle on the face of the deep, and so on. And it says, When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master worker. Just like the wisdom of God was there during creation with God, the word of God, the Son of God was there with God during the creation. My question to all of us including myself is whether this word of God who became flesh is real to us. For Apostle John, Jesus was real. Jesus lived with him and walked with John. But for all of us Christians, is Jesus real? Do we truly believe that Jesus is God? Do we truly believe that Jesus died and rose again for us? Do we believe that Jesus is coming back and he is going to be king forever? I think that if we truly believe that Jesus is God, then a lot of world problems will go away. Do you think that people will be fighting with each other if they truly believe in a God who is watching over them? Even in our Christian churches, there are a lot of issues going on among people. If our religious leaders truly believed in God, would they not be trembling before a living God? On a personal level, would our lives not be different if we believed in God's existence and in God's power? Would we not be more honest in our actions, acting with less, less ego in our church and family lives? Would we trust in God? that he has power over everything in the world, including the smallest of living and non-living things? Would we not trust that he, does, he has the power over a virus? So when I think about the words of God, of word becoming flesh, it exposes my own disbelief and my own distrust in a living God. It pierces me as a two-edged sword. And that is my thought for today. If the word became flesh, let it be a real experience for us. 
not just a mere faith proclamation but an ultimate truth in our lives then we really do not need a lenten period every day would be a lenten season for us every day would be christmas for us and every day would be easter thank you